My name is Tom Wissink, and I nominated Eric Moberg for the Youth Frontiers Character Award. What really stands out about Eric is, one is his perseverance. He's had some challenges in, in life, but he's persevered through those things and, and quite honestly used them to become a better person. If Eric wasn't my son, I would still want to talk about him because he's that neat of a kid and I've had great interaction with him. I've had him in class for three years. He just really wants to see everyone do well and wants to see everyone succeed. He's a strong, quiet leader that leads by example, but just that example has a positive influence on others. He's not afraid to reach out to someone, so he'll just see someone kind of doing math and he'll sit down and just be like, hey, how's that? Yeah, I have trouble with that too. Do you want to help? I wouldn't say I always thought myself as a leader. I would say that I definitely grew into it. It's got to be, how do you interact with your peers? How do you interact with all your peers, not just when people are around? Are you kind enough to offer help if you can and brave enough to ask for help if you need it? And to demonstrate that and be a role model for that, I think is also a leader and Eric's fabulous at that too. I think a good leader is someone who likes to include everyone, make sure that everyone gets to have an input. He had to fill out some scholarship recently, things, and he, they were like name, like words that you think, and I was like, well, you could say like integrity or character, and he was like, what's integrity? And I was like, that's so funny, because to me, you sort of define it. You just do it because it's the right thing to do. He is actively involved in the leadership team, helping organize clubs and activities, which is all great, uh, and we need that but I also think it's just as important to be a leader in a small way. When Eric was in second grade, he was diagnosed with significant hearing loss. And now that the hearing aid technology has gotten even smaller, it's not real noticeable. I realize that everyone, not everyone looks at me and says, oh, that person is hearing impaired. And so I can kind of reflect on that saying, I can't look at everyone knowing exactly what they've been through, knowing exactly what their story is. So I'm not going to assume anything. And I just try to make sure that I can be a nice, genuine person to them. Definitely taught me a lot about my perspective on, on life. One of his fourth grade teachers, Mr. Hops, said to the class, surround yourself with people who shine. In conversations over this award, actually, he has said, I try to sur surround myself, but now that I'm getting older, I want to be part of the people that shine. You don't always have to make someone smile, but I'd rather be the reason someone smiles than the reason that they have a bad day. You never know what other people are going through in that specific time. Try to be the reason that they smile, make sure that they're doing okay. And I like to hold true to that. They've definitely been big role models in my life, both my parents, to kind of always just look out for each other, do, do the right thing and put yourself out there. I think this award being that it is about something that is more continual in your life, will hopefully give kids the opportunity to see like this is something that sometimes you do get recognition for just being good. To take a moment to recognize that we all kind of have a choice within this world of ours to say what are we going to do. Some advice is just trying to be a little bit more in the moment. Say good morning to the person that you see every day even if you don't know who they are. Know what's around you and just kind of enjoy the little things like that. Thank you for what you did to my school and this community. You made it a better place. As a New Richmond teacher, I think all of us are proud of him representing our school. And I know his dad and I are super proud of him just representing like us. We're happy for you, we're proud of you. And this is not the end, <laughs> this is the beginning. Little small acts of leadership and kindness every day change the world. This is how you can do it. Anybody can do it.